Chetsi is a six-month-old Bengal boy. Our local cat rescue centre called us one afternoon to see if we'd be interested in him as they thought he needed an experienced owner as he'd recently arrived unwanted and they'd been flooded with inappropriate people to adopt him. He's not a bad boy, but without firm and consistent discipline, he'd be very likely to develop many bad behavioural traits. He's very intelligent and boisterous, like many Bengal cats, so he'll need careful supervision being introduced to our two cats. Freya, a seven-year-old rescue Bengal former breeding queen, and Tigo, a two-year-old mixed breed and also a rescue. The first thing is to keep him safely locked away in his own special room for the first three days. Oh! Well, at least try to. The reason for keeping a new cat locked away for the first three days is to allow the resident cats time to get used to his smell through the door and to allow supervised introductions. Tigo was first as he was fascinated by this visitor, often sitting outside his door for long periods of time. The escapee is caught and returned and runs over to meet his new brother. Fortunately, there are no big problems with the first introduction. Tigo, very uncharacteristically, hisses a few times at Chatsy, just to assert dominance early. This is Tigo's patch, and Chatsy's a trespasser. And he's too close! Chatsy adopts a classic submissive pose with a low down head. Not to be confused with lying on your back, which is more of a defensive pose. A tense standoff then happens, with both cats looking at each other. Fortunately, there are no flat ears or flicking tails to indicate possible confrontation. Incredibly confident as he is, Chatsy is somewhat knocked off his stride here. Tigo moves around, doing this amazing slow motion walk, avoiding making any sudden gestures that might escalate matters. Chatsy is frozen to the spot, not necessarily by fear, but just surveying the situation safely, without creating any trouble. We break up the first introduction to let both cats calm down and relax again, although Tigo wasn't really showing any signs of wanting to go. A few hours later, we bring Freya in. She's a very timid, middle-aged rescue Bengal. You can see straight away that she doesn't want to stay. We've no intention of keeping her in against her will, but it's good for her to see Chatsy for a moment, and then see if she shows any signs of curiosity from the other side of the door later on. The next day, Chatsy seems to be even more confident, giving us an amazing display of fluffed up back. Curiously, this is quite a half-hearted display, as I've seen it much more pronounced, and usually the tail will double in width. He looks a bit like a miniature Stegosaurus. Tigo responds with an equally half-hearted display. You can see his back is arched, but minimal fluffing up. He then sets off again with his amazing slow motion walking. Chatsy is clearly nervous, running on pure instinct. He's acting defensively, but just because he thinks he should. He probably hasn't met any other cats before, and has no idea if he's in danger or not. So better safe than sorry.
This whole episode is tense, but with a minimum of aggression. Both are walking around, strutting their stuff, saying, you don't want to mess with me, but without actually backing it up with any actions. As Tigo approaches, he lets out a high-pitched sound at Chatsy. <coughs> which doesn't seem aggressive, but it's unusual as Tigo is never vocal, but it is a warning. Chatsy doesn't really react, although he has got himself a little cornered there. Again, Chatsy resorts to his submissive, head-low position. Maybe because he's feeling Tigo has come a little too close, and Tigo is almost twice the size of him. It always amazes me how cats can turn their back on a potential adversary in a tense situation like this. But it happens so often, it's not a fluke. Maybe there are unwritten rules of sportsmanship in the cat world. Again, Chatsy resorts to his head down submissive pose, but keep watching, he's not feeling completely beaten. His ears go back and he makes a semi-sudden move towards Tigo. But take a look at his body language. He's still low down. He just wants to play but doesn't know how to instigate it. And another sudden lunge. It's almost as if Chatsy wants to start something, but doesn't want to make the first move. His ears are completely back, so he's clearly expecting or hoping something will kick off. Tigo plays it ultra cool as usual, barely even reacting to Chatsy's provocation. Chatsy's almost like that annoying kid in the playground that keeps picking at people to get some attention. Not so much a bully, but very mischievous. This has all become a bit too tense, maybe just for us, and we cause a little distraction to break the tension. Notice Chatsy's tail position as he moves away from Tigo and over to us. It goes straight up, like a happy, confident cat. Chatsy gets a new air of confidence and moves over to Tigo. Little brat! I guess he hasn't read the rules on cat etiquette and turning your back. This was very rude of Chatsy, and we give Tigo the option to leave if he's had enough. But he makes it clear that the little brat is much more interesting than leaving the room. All this happened on the second day of Chatsy's life at his new home. Subscribe to my channel to see the next film and find out what happens later in the week. <laughs>